Hi, I'm Sean Gannon with the Mrs. Minute Math, and today we're going to learn about adding and subtracting polynomials and we're going to simplify each expression. So if I was given this polynomial, 13 n squared plus 11 n minus 2 n to the fourth, close parentheses, plus parentheses, negative 13 n squared minus 3 n minus 6 n to the fourth. From here, I'm now going to uh, see within each parentheses, can I simplify anything? There's no like terms in each one? No. So now I'm going to rewrite all of this. And instead of subtracting, I'm adding a negative. I, if you know my videos, you know I like doing that. So we have 13n squared plus 11n, and we don't need the parentheses anymore because it's all in the addition, plus a negative 2n to the fourth, plus a negative 13n squared plus a negative 3n plus a negative 6n to the fourth, making all those subtractions be adding negative. So now I'm going to rearrange uh, with rearrange having the highest degrees first and bringing my like terms together. So I look, my highest degree is to the fourth power. Uh, so I'm going to do the negative 2n to the fourth first. I put a little dot underneath it saying that I brought that down. Uh, plus a negative 6n to the fourth was next. Okay, and I don't see anything else for the fourth power. Next highest degree I see there's no third power, but there's something to the second power. There's two terms. So I'm going to add a 13n squared here. And then this one here, another one is adding a negative 13 n squared. And I don't see anything else to the second power. So now we just have a variable n to the first power. I see 11 n, so I have plus 11 n right there. And then plus a negative 3 n right there. And that should be it. Let's double check. Let's make sure we brought everything down. 13 n squared is right there. 11 n is right there. Negative 2 n to the fourth is right there. Negative 13 n squared is right there. Negative 3 n is right there. And negative 6 n to the fourth is right there. And I've brought them all down. Fantastic. So two systems to double check, make sure I re when I rearrange using the commutative property, everything was brought nice and neat together. So negative 2 n to the fourth is simplify, plus a negative 6 n to the fourth is a negative 8 n to the fourth. Okay? Got those two combined. Now 13 n squared plus a negative 13 n squared is just 0. So we have a 0 right there, right? They eliminate each other. Then we have plus 11 n. And then adding a negative, uh, sorry, I always do that. Not just plus a, ne a negative uh, 11 n, we combine it with a negative 3 n. So 11 n plus a negative 3 n comes out to be 8 n. Okay, now we don't need the plus 0 in the middle. Okay, so we're going to rewrite this to be 8 n to the 4th plus 8 n. And there we have it. We have our final answer, negative 8 n to the 4th plus an 8 n. So let's recap. We're given our parentheses here, 13 n squared plus 11 the n minus 2 n to the 4th plus parentheses, negative 13n squared minus 3n minus 6n to the fourth. I now, uh, I made everything to a plus a negative, because I like seeing that. I like uh, rearranging it like that, adding a negative. Then I rearranged using the commutative property, had my highest degrees first. I have my fourth powers here, then my second powers, then just my first powers and the first power. Then I combined them, simplify. Uh, these two came together, and negative 2n to the fourth plus a negative 6n to the fourth is negative 8n to the fourth. 13n squared plus a negative 13n squared is became 0. 11n plus a negative 3n was a positive 8n, okay? And then from there, I don't need to add a 0 because uh, that's silly. We can still eliminate it. It's the additive identity. doesn't change anything. So our final answer here is just negative 8n to the 4th plus an 8n.